All this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. I picked this week's Filament Friday project. It's a 3D printed marble machine by Thingiverse user Tulio. I loaded into XYZWare, sliced it, and it says it's going to take 15 hours to print. Okay, 15 hours. Let's see how this thing came out. I'm going to take it out in pieces. First, the main, wow, the main body of this thing. Holy cow. This is a nice print. No supports. And this printed beautifully. Now, I knew it would be good because they designed it with arches so no angles were you know 90 degrees so it's kind of built in supports to the design and then anything that's open slowly curves even inside where there's posts in here guide posts with overhangs the overhangs gradually overhang and they look excellent now I've got a few spots where it looked like it burned the plastic and I've since learned I guess there can be moisture absorbed into the plastic and sometimes just impurities get in there and that's probably what burns so there's a little bit up here turned brown a little spot here and then on the bottom there's some black spots right here and that could actually been something on the bed although this I cleaned the bed before this one so it may have just been something I missed but I don't know that's a pretty big spot but overall it's this is a really really complicated but good print now I've got a couple spots like right here where it looks like as it cooled it separated and there's a smaller one here it's interesting those are both like on the ends here's another one so it's at these corners where it kind of pulled into the center as it hardened and separated a little bit but structurally it, it doesn't seem to be affecting it hardly at all all right let's let's get the rest of it which is the crank mechanism that goes inside of here These are sticking pretty good. I'm actually going to have to pry them up a little bit. I like to just stick a little X-Acto knife in and then they pop right off. So there's a disc. And this is interesting. This is the crank or the worm gear mechanism. And it looks like, and I didn't realize this when I made the file, but he designed support. <laughs> for it and look at how nice that came out and it just broke away. it fell off as I was pulling this off again this is such a gradual rise that it printed good this is this is a beautiful print and the end looks good a hole in the bottom I'll probably have to clean it up a little bit that looks good there's one more piece I think this is the top I think this goes up here yeah that goes that looks like a guide and then this goes inside of it and that's fitting a little tight and this goes on here that's a little tight and this goes down into the pin and as I suspected this this sat on the bottom so it got squished down a little bit so I'm going to clean that up so it looks like everything 
is fitting a little tight. This is the one that scares me because things are printed in this way so this is not going to be super strong. So I don't want to force this. And this was not mushed down. So these, this is probably going to take a little bit of sanding and maybe just a little bit of carving on this, but I think mainly this without breaking it hopefully. So let me clean this up. Okay to clean these up first of all I had to get rid of that bottom flattened out edge and that's where this finishing tool works great. It just pivots and cleans that stuff right off. So this is, I'll put a link to this, the one I use, and cleans that off. And then this hole at the bottom of the the screw, me screw mechanism here. I clean that off the same way. That's a pretty small hole and this thing fits in there and works pretty good. So I spun that around. And then what I did is I found a drill bit that same size and then I went in and just hand spun the drill bit and that got all that little extra plastic, the ribs that go around the hole. So I cleaned that up and then I tested that down inside on the pin and it's it slid perfectly on the pin and it spins really easy. So that worked out really good. And then <clears throat> I did the same thing in here, clean this up, and then used a larger drill bit and cleaned that out. And so I really didn't have to do much to this guy and I got it to spin on there pretty easy. So now this gear mechanism fits onto here and I had a concern about the tip on this and I was right because it didn't take much effort at all. I was just sanding the edges trying to get it to fit and I was fitting it into this and it snapped. So that is one flaw in this design I would say is that it relies on a very very small surface area here to make a connection to control this. But I thought you know what I could do is I could put these two together and then acetone them together. So then I got more surface area all around this and all around this fusing together. The problem is it's got to go through here. And when I put the two together this is flush with this piece here. So if I put acetone in there I gotta worry about it fusing onto the edges. I'm just gonna try it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together and then slide the whole unit in place. So instead of a brush, I'm actually going to use a Q-tip with 100% acetone. Let's put a little bit in the cap. And now I'm going to try and just put it on top here. Soften that up. In fact, I shouldn't even have that there. I'm trying to stay away from the edges. So I got that soft. And now I'll do the end of this. Now there's still a little bit of a uh, nub there. And so I got a locator. So now I'm just going to put some on the, the little bit that's sticking out. And then just a touch on the surface because this surface will actually touch onto this. So I have to be really careful. Fortunately this stuff doesn't dry instantly so so now I'm going to slide this through and put this in place. See if they'll fuse and let this spin. So far this is spinning, but I don't know if they're fusing. They don't feel really that tight. I don't know if it's holding. I'm going to let this dry. It looks like it's I got just enough on there and this thing's still spinning and not affected. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to try to put this together and then we'll try some marbles on this thing. Okay, this is feeling pretty good now. It's feeling pretty strong. 
spins freely so it looks like the acetone trick might have worked and because I freed up all the holes already this should slip in I left this a little bit ribbed so it'll fit tight but it should slide in pretty easily just gotta make sure that bottom hole is lined up Now I should be able to spin that. Yeah, as I spin it, the gear turns, and that's hopefully going to lift up the, the ball bearings. So let's try it. I'll let one go down. Now I'll spin it comes to the top, but it isn't spitting it out. <laughs> so let's get a few more going here. I'll bring it up. There we go. Now we got to spin a little bit faster. To shoot them out. Let's get some more ball bearings in there. For those that want to see this close up, here it is in the round. You can see all the different surfaces, the screw, get a little more view of what this thing looks like. It's really a beautiful print. So that's it for this week's Filament Friday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. I don't know if you noticed, we just crossed the 2,000 subscriber mark. That's a biggie. That's a real biggie. Because I'm starting to get sponsors now talking to me. Asking me to do certain videos, product placements, things like that. So it helps keep this channel free and also thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. Your support is so important to me. It really is. I'm looking at things that I can do to help my Patreon supporters because you gave money to this channel and really you're not getting anything more than someone who's watching it for free. So I'm working on some stuff so hang in there. If you've donated to the channel thank you very much it has really helped I don't get a whole lot of money from the advertising that splashes across the screen it, it isn't that much so all the cost of plastics and everything else comes out of my pocket or the little bit I do get from you know AdSense so everything you contribute really really helps in the future if you want to contribute I highly suggest go to the patreon account for just a dollar a month it's twelve dollars a year you can be a supporter of this channel and you're gonna get some bonus stuff in the future I'm still working through all the details it's gonna be several months out but you will get bonuses um, so that's it that's filament Friday for this week and I really enjoyed this one no one suggested it but I thought it was really cool and I saw it featured on Thingiverse and so they must have really liked it too otherwise they wouldn't have featured it it's just it's a great design no supports you know it's I see something like this I really got to compliment the designer that just there's a lot of work involved here and then just you know post it for free out there it's just it's a great design it really is yeah I, I had to ask the tone some things here and you can always improve on something but you know this is like 99 percent a perfect design I just I love it and I, I learn a lot from these I learn how to design my own stuff now with these arches and things like that so each time you see a print like this and you learn how it prints it helps you to design your own prints say in Tinkercad or wherever to make it better and make it print without supports that is a huge thing if you can make a complicated print print without supports that's a great design in my book so Anyway, that's all I got for this week. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you next time.